This local sports report is presented by the PBJ Cleaning Depot, a proud supporter of local sports. PBJ is more than just cleaning supplies. It's your one-stop shop for office products, office furniture, and of course, janitorial supplies. Learn more about all of PBJ's products and services by visiting cleaning-depot.ca or scan the QR code on your screen. Game one from the Steve Kerr of the semifinal, the Air Centennials heading to Listowel to take on the Listowel Cyclones, looking for a 1-0 series lead on home ice. First period action, and Listowel gets off to a hot start. A rip from the far dot finds its way through Harrison Bulenstein. Gets the semifinal started. He's got Listy up, 1-0, and that would be the story for the Cyclones in the first period. Jack O'Donnell, oh my, what a move to the goal. He finishes it off with a flex. O'Donnell, silky mitts in close. He's got Listowel up, 2-0 in the first frame. Now with under a minute to go in the first period, Cyclones looking for more. Out front, they're going to find more in the slot all alone. Luke Urig's not going to miss that shot. Listowel would hold a 3-0 lead after 20. And that would be 13 consecutive scoreless periods for the Listowel Cyclones. They still haven't allowed a goal in the playoffs. Now early stages, second period, Luke Urig right back at it again. He's out front. He's going to tap it in. Urig's got his second of the night for Listowel, and it's all Cyclones 4 0 Listy, early stages, second frame. But finally, the deadlock would be broken. Daniel Berhowski walks in and fires one home. That's the first conceded goal of the playoffs for the Cyclones. Airs on the board. It's a 4 1 hockey game. But a little later on, Listowel would answer right back, right away. Tate Brenner slides it across. Chet Hudson buries his second of the playoffs, and Listowel's back up to a four goal lead. It's 5 1. Then two minutes later, Air looking to respond to the Hudson goal. They'll find one. Charlie Barnes lets it fly from the point. He's going to get credit with that one. Barnes has his first of the postseason, and Ayers made it a 5-2 hockey game. And just a little over a minute later on, Air would find another one. Austin Kelleher, where he does his best work in tight, he buries it. Kelleher, just like that, all of a sudden we have a 5-3 hockey game in Listowel, middle stages, second period. But the Cyclones would not roll over. Ben McRobbie in all alone to the backhand. He flips it high, and he's got Listowel up 6-3 to three in this hockey game. And then with five seconds left to go in period number two, the Cyclones would strike again on the power play. Tanner Dietz is going to deflect this puck out front. Great stick positioning from Dietz. He's got it. And he's got his fourth of the postseason. Listowel rolling in that second frame. They're up 7-3 to three after 40. To the third frame we go now. And it's Ayer looking to get back on the score sheet. Off the faceoff win. A point shot gets through. Brett Talbot. Ayer makes it a 7-4 game, but not enough for the Sens. Listowel impressive in game one as they take the series opener final 7-4 over Ayer. It's always big to get the first win in a series and uh, kind of self set yourself up uh, best you can. The guys battled hard tonight, got away from it a little bit in the second, but uh, pretty resilient group, so we got it back together. The mindset for tonight was obviously uh, try and score in the first five minutes and uh, get to them quick because obviously they're a good squad out there, we know that, and uh, we're a good squad ourselves, so just try and do our best. Uh, the game plan, going into air, obviously we want to win, but um, you know they're gonna work hard. They're gonna they're gonna come back because obviously they lost this game. So we gotta outwork them for uh, 60 minutes, and we'll see where it takes us.